This story comes out of Brisbane, Australia. Accidents are called just that because you don't see them coming. And Rayleigh Jackson certainly didn't see what was coming as she drove down the road with her 9-year-old daughter and 16-month-old son. Sheer horror and terror swept over the mom as at 70 miles per hour her car and another car collided head-on. She was fine thanks to the airbag. Her daughter suffered abdominal injuries, but thankfully they were non-life-threatening. But for Jackson, the toddler, and the back, the collision had a disastrous impact on his little body. The force of the crash caused what is called an internal decapitation, a situation where Jackson's head actually separated from his spine. It was already a miracle that he had survived such an injury. But surviving the medical procedure required to reattach his head to his neck which called for another miracle as would any chance of little Jackson ever being able to walk again. His parents were terrified that they would lose their precious son. Spinal surgeon Dr. Jeff Askins said a lot of children wouldn't have survived the injury in the first place and if they did and they were resuscitated they may never move or breathe again. Over a grueling six-hour surgery, doctors used wire and a bone from Jackson's rib to graft the severed vertebrae back together. Jackson pulled through the surgery like a champ. This little angel will have to wear what the family is calling a halo for the next eight weeks, but he's making remarkable progress and doctors say he will return to a happy, healthy life. His mom goes on to say, we're very, very thankful. It's a miracle. You can see just how well Jackson is doing by clicking on the video below. Do you believe in miracles? Please leave a comment in the comment fields below.